here since 2009. You guys do it in dominating fashion. Just your thoughts on how you guys played today and, you know, the win. Well, first off, I wasn't the head coach here until, until 2015. So the ones before that, I wasn't a part of. But, uh, yeah, it's awesome. You know, uh, and we haven't played here every year. But uh, for our guys to come on the road, um, NC State's really good. Um, they're really offensive for our pitching staff to do what they did tonight was unbelievable. And then offensively, just to keep adding on was awesome. And I thought our, our crowd was great, too. And we just never let their crowd get into it. What did you like about Corolla just I mean, going three and just kind of looking pretty strong? Yeah, we just kept keep telling those guys, man, going back to 2022, that your job is to close out the first inning. He did that, and then he closed out the second, and then he closed out the third. And um, I think he hit the first guy of the fourth inning, and then Danny came in and did his job, and uh, Richie came in here, did his job. Sheep came in and did his job, and then Jake Hunter closed it out. So um, I thought we were really good out of the bullpen. How huge was it just that last weekend, only using seven guys, so maybe you guys are fresh and you just kind of have your whole repertoire to use? Yeah, I mean, we did use Bill, Richie, and Shinkman, yeah. so those three. Um, but, you know, not using Grola probably helped him be fresh, which was a good thing. So, um, and, and Jake pitched as well, so it's just good to keep getting Jake out there in a relief uh, role. You always want to attack and take advantage when the opposing team makes mistakes, and you saw Carter Cunningham, you know, take advantage of that and continue to be hot. Yeah, they made an error um, there on Riley, but, you know, Riley Speed puts pressure on their infielder, and, um, you know, he misses the ball, and then Carter makes him pay with it with a two-run homer with two outs. So, um, but Carter had a good night. I thought uh, J.C. had a good night. I thought Starling had a good night. Uh, J-Dub got a swing off uh, for a solo home run, and, of course, Dixon Williams, I thought he was the MVP of the game um, with the single, with the two RBIs that got us going. But, man, the play made in left field defensively, and then that double play ball late, just unbelievable. He played – Played his tail off. How is the pitching staff channeling that 2022 mindset like you talked about on Saturday? Well, I think it's worked pretty good, at least for Sunday and uh, today. So uh, we'll keep uh, channeling that mindset and, uh, you know, we'll practice a little bit tomorrow and then we'll hit the road early on Thursday to go to FAU. You talked about Dixon. His hits came with two outs. I think you guys had like four or five two out hits. I mean, that that's huge, uh, especially that led to Carter's home run. Too. Yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, I think anytime you can just continue to put pressure uh, with two outs, I mean, you still got 33% of the inning left. So we always talk about uh, there's a lot of inning left when they they get two outs, even if nobody's on. Getting your 21st win, I mean, first game of April. I mean, this team's rolling. How, how's everyone feeling yeah. right now? Oh, hey, we're rolling right now, but it's uh, you're only good as your last game. So we got to practice. we got to stay humble. we got to stay hungry and, you know, folks don't continue to get better. We talk so much about year 10 under you. Like, what does it mean to come to Raleigh? beat a good NC State team and uh, keep on rolling? I just think it's important for us to play quality competition, and NC State's really good. Coach Avent and their coaching staff and their players do a great job. Uh, um, you know, you, you don't expect us to win, you know, in the fashion we won tonight on the road here because they're a really good team, but um, hats off to our guys for just continuing to tack on. Dixon talked about just playing loose. I mean, this whole team's kind of playing loose, and you probably have to have that mindset going in to play baseball, right? You can't just be stressing that we need this win, but no, I mean, look, you, you, it's not life or death. I mean, look, I know the fans think it's life or death uh, when we play NC State or Carolina or Duke or whoever the NC State schools are, but it's not. You know, we just focus on ourselves and try to um, get a little bit better and play our brand of baseball. Do you miss the mustache or are you glad it's gone? I'm glad it's gone, yeah. It was aggravating, but uh, I think I look, look a little bit younger without the mustache. All right, thank, thank you, guys. You.